I began to lose control. And now without nasality. I began to lose control. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today's topic is going to be about mixed voice and what that has to do with nasality. First off, what's mixed voice? I only use that word because it's a common word that people associate with the ability to sing high. Truth be told, there's many ways to sing high. And today I'm just going to be showing you one of those ways. So what I want to teach you today is how to open and close your nasal port so you can control whether or not air flows out of your nose while you sing. This is going to tie into mixing, so bear with me for a couple minutes. To begin with, we have to know how our body works, so this is going to get anatomical for a second. This is the inside of your vocal tract, as seen from the side. Right here is your soft palate, aka the velum, which can raise and lower in different ways. When your soft palate touches the back wall of your throat, called the pharynx, it actually creates a seal that prevents any air from going out of your nose. Now, when the velum is not touching the pharynx, there's no seal, and therefore air can flow through the nose, creating nasality. I'm gonna teach you how to raise and lower your soft palate so you can open and close your nasal port at will. This ability is useful beyond the scope of applying it to mixed voice, but that's just gonna be our focus for today. How do you control your soft palate? There's a lot of advice out there about this, but in this video, I'm gonna show you what's worked for me. There's really just two aspects to doing it. Number one, feeling the bridge of your nose for vibrations. Number two, using the English language to hack your voice. I want all of you to place a hand on the bridge of your nose now, like this. Now make sure you're really putting as much of your fingers on the bridge as possible. At least four fingers while keeping them centered on the bridge area. You don't want to be holding the fleshy part of your nose right here. You want to be holding the hard cartilage part right in the center. Now, I want you to keep your hands there and say the words get, bed, kite, pop, cop, dad. Now, you most likely didn't feel much, if any, vibrations while you said those words. Still keeping your hand on the bridge of your nose, say mom, me, nana, sing, long, tune. Did you notice how now there's a lot of vibrations? That's because air is now passing through your nose while you speak. But before, the soft palate was raised, so all the air was going out your mouth. Now go back and forth between saying some words from the first list and the second list. Mom, get. Mom, get. Mom, get. Me, bed. Me, bed. Keep your hands on your nose. Now try to alternate words without stopping, like this. Mom, get, mom, get. Once you can do that, we wanna make those two words that you're switching between as similar as possible. So we'll go with the word mom, bob, mom, bob. Mom, bob, mom, bob, mom, bob. Now remember, you're keeping your fingers on the bridge of your nose in order to detect the nasality. What you should be feeling is nasality when you say mom and no nasality when you say bob. And the reason are because of those consonants. We've got an m, which is a nasal consonant for mom, so the nose would stay open the entire time. And then for bob, we've got two b's, and you can't actually make a b unless the soft palate is raised. So this is why I say we're really hacking the English language in order to learn how to move your soft palate. Now I want you to think about the sound of the vowel that you're saying as you pronounce it. Mom, Bob, Mom, Bob. Both vowels are kind of an ah sound, right? But the nasality makes them sound different. Ma, ah, Bob, ah, 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 ah. So I want you to imagine the word mom, Bob, but only think about the vowels on the inside of the word. Don't think about the consonants. Ah, ah, as if you're saying mom, Bob, but take away the consonants. Ah, ah. If you feel vibrations the entire time, you didn't actually raise and lower the palate. We don't want something like ah. 
Aww, because you can clearly hear that the nasality is there the entire time. We want to feel a distinct shift, just like you feel when you say the words mom, mom, bob, mom, bob. Aww. Now, when you're successfully alternating or pivoting between these different sounds, you're actually controlling the soft palate and making it go up and down. I'm going to show you the inside of my mouth so that you can actually see my soft palate moving up and down in the back as I alternate between these different sounds. You can do this yourself at home with either your phone camera and good lighting or a mirror. Mom, Bob, Mom, Bob. Don't be discouraged if this isn't easy at first, guys. It took me a long time to be able to control this. And it took me even longer to be able to actually detect whether or not a singer was using nasality in their voice. Now, you can do this nasal pivot with any vowel or vocal tract shape, but until you master it, you may want to hack your body using some words. So, for example, if you're struggling with controlling the nasality on an E vowel, then use the words meme and bead and go through the exact same process we did on mom bob meme bead meme bead meme bead meme bead meme now it may sound like you're actually messing with the actual pitch of the note like e but you're not. You should be staying right on ah, uh, no matter what you're doing. E the reason that the nasality may make it sound like you actually raised the pitch or the raised soft palate sound may sound like you lowered the pitch is just because of the harmonics of the sound. When you're singing with a nasally sound, just think of it like there's more brightness to the sound and that makes it sound like it's higher. All right, now let's get to the fun part, the high notes. So, on an en, as in a French guy saying en han han, do en. Remember, you've got to keep your fingers on your nose to make sure the nasality stays the entire time. En. Now, juxtapose that same scale with no nasality on a ba 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 ba. And now just. Ba and now ah. Let's go back to keeping the nose open. Oh, you're a French guy. Aww. Don't force your voice and don't sing in an uncomfortable way. Higher we go, the more energy and work this will take. That's normal. Aww. Open your mouth more and more the higher you go. Aww. Make sure you keep breathing in deep, full breaths like you just smelled something satisfying. Aww. Want to make sure your voice has a clear and strong sound to it. You don't want it to sound breathy or husky or soft. We want it to be like you're projecting. You're a French guy projecting. Oh, 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 oh. Now, for the guys, you may feel the quality of your voice begin to change right around the E flat four to the F four which has been the past couple notes. That's fine as long as you don't feel a flip to falsetto and that would sound like Aah, 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 Aah. Remember, we wanna increase the volume, keep opening our mouths, and keep a clear, strong quality to our voice, all while keeping the nose open. Aah. Notice the change in sound at the top note. Something is very different about the character of my voice. Compare that to when we started. I 
I really feel a big difference for that top note as opposed to all the other low notes. It feels like instead of my voice kind of staying in the same general area, it's kind of lifting and vibrating in my head now. Those are just some of my sensations. And the reason that I'm getting those sensations is because I'm keeping my nose open. You want this shift to happen as you're singing higher. That's gonna get you into mixed voice. Now, make sure you're also tracking the notes so you can figure out where you start to run into trouble. Now, this is easier said than done, and it may be the case that for many of you, you can't even get your voice to go higher like this. If that's you, then I suggest you start with a sound that complete vocal technique calls overdrive. This sound is gonna have a raised soft palate and it's probably gonna be easier for you to find a way to get your voice to go higher in a way that feels good and isn't falsetto. On either an A or an O vowel, try to call out with your voice like this. Yo! Hey! Yo! Now let's take that exact thing and put it on a slide. Yo! If we're testing for the nasality, we shouldn't feel any. It shouldn't be Yo, it should be yo. Now let's say that earlier when we were using the all sound, you had trouble at E4. Well, what you can do is use overdrive, get your voice up to E4, and then try to switch to the nasally sound while you're holding out that note. Yo. This may work for you right away, or it may not. It just depends. If it doesn't work, there's probably other issues going on with your singing technique that need to get resolved first. As a general rule of thumb, you should be able to use your chest voice and call out to at least a G4. Hey! If you can't, I would advise to start practicing that and get it up to a G4 and then try to switch to add the nasality. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate some singing examples with nasality and without nasality. Now remember as you're doing this, keep your hands on your nose until you're really comfortable telling when there's nasality and when there's not. I was dreaming of a past and my heart was beating fast. I began to lose control. I began to lose control. And now without nasality. I was dreaming of a past and my heart was beating fast. I began to lose control. I began to lose control. Okay guys. I'm gonna wrap up this video for today. Of course, there is more to the story of mixed voice than just having an open nasal port. And it is possible to sing in it without nasality, but that's for another day. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please drop a comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. All right, till next time.